All right, hey, it's Space, and uh, yeah, today's vid this weekend. Two new throwback sets to look at. Got the Jazz and the T-Wolves. Ten cards in each set. Gonna look at both sets today. And the price tag on them from some gameplay of a favorite from one of the sets. First, the Jazz set. Ruby Truck Robinson and Carl Malone. Carl Malone's got a duo with Sapphire John Stockton. The other Sapphire is Brian Russell. Three Emeralds, Gordon Hayward, CJ Miles, and Emerald Devin Harris is the token reward card. And there are three Golds, Paul Millsap, Kyle Korver, and Greg Ostertag. Now, Millsap and Korver have a duo. Finding budget duos, a great way to grind solo challenges. Yeah, keep those contract costs down. Price tag on the cards. Truck is about 7 to 8K. Malone, you can find for 9 to 10K. Two Sapphires, Stockton and Russell, you can find for 5K each. Emerald Hayward and CJ Miles, 1500 MT each. Millsap, Corver, and Ostertag should be around 1500 MT, but seeing an effort to try to price fix some of these cards. Yeah, Corver earlier today was about 4000 MT. So add them up, about 35,000 coins if you decide to finish the set. What do you get? 15 My Team tokens. Got to subtract the three tokens you need to pick up that Emerald Devin Harris. Now, me like this new token system. But the tokens I like are the free tokens. Spending MT to lock cards into a set to pick up tokens, not terribly thrilled by the idea. But I am liking some of the reward cards you can get from spending tokens. Sapphire Shump we talked about earlier in a vid and recently picked up Ruby Eddie Jones, Thunder Dan, and Isaiah Ryder. Your column, what you decide to do with your tokens. Let's look at the T-Wolves set and the price tag on it. Two rubies, it's Marbury and Al Jefferson, both around eight to 9,000 MT. Sapphire later you can find for around 3,000. KG about 5 to 6K. The Emeralds, Trenton Hassel and Spreewell about 2,000 MT each. Sapphire KG and Spreewell have a dynamic duo. Darko is the token reward card. The golds are Mark Madsen, Fred Hoiberg, and Corey Brewer. Also seeing some price fixing on these golds. Should be able to stang them for around 2,000 MT each. May need to sit on the auction to snipe them. And to flip for a profit, yeah, there is some potential to make some coins here on these golds. People hustling for these tokens. Like the Jazz Historic set, you would pick up 15 tokens for finishing the set. Price tag on this T-Wolf set, like the Jazz set, is about 35,000 coins. So 30 My Team tokens this weekend will set you back around 70,000 MT. Now, one card we wanted to try out right away is this Ruby Truck Robinson. Yeah, who is this guy? Yeah, Leonard Truck Robinson played in the league from 1974 to 1985. As a player, had strength and the physical attributes of a power forward and the mobility and athleticism of a small forward. His best season was 1977 to 78, where he averaged 22.7 points per game and 15.7 seven rebounds with the New Orleans Jazz. This truck card, only seven to 8,000 MT in auction and comes with five gold badges. Brick Wall, Bruiser, Putback King, Hustle Rebounder, and the badge we're going to test today in Triple Threat is that Gold Lob City Finisher. Mental badges, Expressive, has no problem expressing feelings. Harden will play through fatigue and injury without experiencing a severe drop in skill. And Spark Plug, come off the bench or out of timeouts making big plays to help energize his teammates. Let's go to the gameplay. And going up against Amethyst Anthony Davis, Ruby John Wall, and yes, Sapphire Reward Manu Bowl. Now, our consistent triple threat go-tos are Ruby Larry Bird and Grant Hill. And today, Truck Robinson getting into the triple threat mix. And Truck getting us started. That old man back to the basket game. Coming out early. And why not with the smaller John Wall defending? Getting bullied here. Yeah, too easy for the truckster. Going in for the easy finish. Here's Truck with the board and the break. Yeah, transition buckets key to triple threat. Here, quick pass to Bird in the corner. And that is cash. Yeah, Truck, 93 offensive and defensive rebounding. And gold hustle rebounder is key for running the break. Defense playing those passing lanes. Grant Hill here, the steal. And truck, 83 speed, getting up the court in transition. And Truck, the self-oop. He's got four early. Opponent feeling disrespect. Tries to lob AD, but Grant Hill in there to break it up. Truck, the loose ball, and running the break. Pass up the court to Hill, and then Hill sets up Truck with a perfect pass. Truck, the power finish. A cold John Wall from three. Yeah, take that all day. Bird the board and running to Grant Hill, and this time from the right side. Truck, gold Hall of Fame lob city. Lighten it up and heating up. More transition buckets. More Truck. Is this card for real? Feasting right now. He's got 10. All right, collapsing the paint now, and that's Grant Hill in the corner. He can shoot. Left that wide open. He's going to knock that shot down all day. An opponent has officially given up, throwing lobs to not sure who here. Grant Hill, the loose ball, and the break. Truck, pedal to the metal. Big two-handed finish. Truck now on fire. Here, shot clock winding down. Grant Hill, the lob, and Truck, the lob city game winner. Like this card for the price, 7 to 8K. It's a triple threat playmaker. Did feel a little slow on defense. Yeah, 58 lateral quickness is a problem. And poor ball control, a watch up. But for the price, a fun card to have around. So I got for you today. Uh, let us know in the comment section on what you decide to do for tokens and what your game plan is this season. Likes, you know we appreciate them. Sub, so you're checking out that next vid. For Party Pete, this is Space. We're out.